How you doing today, folks? I'm out measuring a job and I'm working in a neighborhood that's a new construction where they recently cut into the forest. And I've got a bit of a treat for you. Now, many years ago, we had chestnut trees. Uh, it was Castania. I'm not really sure the exact scientific name. I'll put it below in this part of the video. We had chestnut trees that were all over. And at some point, somebody introduced a chestnut tree. There was some type of a blight on it which spread to the American chestnut. And I mean, this was a long time ago. I'm not gonna go to the exact years. I'm sure people know this story better. But um, what happened was all the American chestnut trees started to die. So what happens is, is you'll see Chinese chestnut trees. And I know there's efforts. I was at an arboretum once where they're making efforts to find a disease resistant or blight resistant chestnut tree. But it's very rare you see an American chestnut growing in the forest here. And the other thing I learned was if you see an American chestnut, you usually don't see them taller than about 10 to 15 feet because it's around when they're that age that the blight finally gets, gets them and, and they succumb to it. So as I'm, as I'm working and, and measuring the job, I, I happened to peek into the woods and I saw the very distinctive leaf of the American chestnut. And I just want to show this to you just because it's pretty cool, but also because I kind of have the confirmation. You know, I, I remember when I was a kid, we had one and it, it ended up dying when it got to be 10 to 15 feet tall. So let me show you the leaves. So here's the leaves on our American chestnut or what I'm going to call an American chestnut because I can't think of how it could be a Chinese chestnut growing in the woods. And the reason I think it's an American chestnut it's got the long, narrower leaves. If you can see that, it's got the long, narrower leaves. The Chinese chestnut has more of a rounded leaf to it. But as you look up at this group of trees, if you take a look, the sun's kind of getting in the way. But there's one here that's about, it's probably about 25 feet tall and it's dead. And then there's a whole bunch of suckers coming from the base. So I have to believe that what we've got here is an American chestnut. And uh, I'm just really, you know, really fascinated. It's been quite a while since I've, I've seen one out in the forest. And, you know, these trees, the blight killed them all. So it's been like many years since these trees were big enough to set seed. But yet you can still be walking through the forest and you can see them growing in the forest. And I just think that's really cool that somehow they're still, they're still out there doing their thing. Here's a different view of the tree. Right there, there's the, the dead one. And if you even look at the tree, you can see that about six feet off the ground or so, it's got some, uh, looks like a borer got it actually. It's got some sprouts coming here which is usually a sign when something kills it farther up. I don't know which came first, the blight or the borers, but um, you know, about six to eight feet up, we've got all these uh, shoots coming off the tree. And I mean, these trees got extremely large, just beautiful trees. You know, I've seen pictures of them and they would just be loaded with these chestnuts. And uh, I just, um, I, I was just blown away when I saw this guy today.